What's up guys, it's Raf here again. Uh, in today's video, what I wanted to do is uh, share a couple of my settings that I use for uh, OBS, which is a streaming software, um, and also recording software. Uh, the past few weeks, I received a couple of messages from different people asking what is it that I use? Um, does it affect my gameplay uh, or how much of a hit of a performance it is? So I just wanted to kind of go over the settings that I have that has worked for me so far and a couple of things that I haven't seen other people talk about, but uh, that has kind of worked out for me uh, in order to get the best of both worlds as far as streaming and recording with uh, no uh, performance hit whatsoever. So uh, let's just take a quick look. Okay guys, so uh, let's take a quick look over here uh, on to my settings. I'll just kind of go over what I have said that has worked for me. Uh, you can get the settings either by going into uh, the controls on your OBS. And yours might look different because you have a different way to set it all up. Uh, but you can go to settings over here or you can also go to file and you go to settings. So either one is the same thing. And this is going to open this dialog box. Now over here on the first page under general, I didn't really change anything to be honest. Uh, uh, under stream on the second one here, I do it to Twitch. Uh, when I set it the server to auto, uh, which gives you a couple options once you connect your account. So if you haven't connected your Twitch account here yet, you see a connect button right over here. Just follow the prompts to connect your Twitch account. You'll, you'll be able to see the server under uh, the nearest one that you want to pick uh, individually, or just leave it auto, which works for me. Under uh, output, this is where uh, everybody always asks what's the best setting, because this is what matters whether um, if your stream is going to look good or if your recording is going to look good, if you're trying to do both at the same time also. so. Uh, for my settings right over here, what I did is uh, I do have an NVIDIA video card, so which allows me to use the NVENC encoder. And I have this set up as the new, which is the newest one that uh, NVIDIA has partnered with OBS in order to get the best smoothest settings for uh, streaming and recording. Uh, what I did is I leave this option checked, it says enforce streaming service encoder settings. Rate control, I leave it at CBR for constant bitrate. And I have the bitrate at 6000 for streaming. Uh, I'll go in a, over in a second why this is 6000. Uh, Keyframe interval is at 2, max quality. I have it at high right over here for the profile. Uh, look ahead is unchecked. Uh, cycle visual tuning is checked. Uh, GPU is at 0, and max B frames at 2. Uh, so really quickly on the bitrate, uh, Twitch uh, does not allow you to stream anything higher than 6,000 uh, kilobits per second anyway. So that's why I have it set at 6,000. Uh, if you were to have uh, um, a higher upload speed through your ISP, you could raise this if you wanted to, but it's not going to matter at all on Twitch. Uh, if you're trying to stream through YouTube instead of Twitch over here, um, YouTube does allow for quite a much higher uh, kilobits per second, but they transcode everything down to their own quality, so to speak. Uh, just double check with your ISP what your upload speed is. Make sure you have uh, at least 6,000. You, you don't want to totally kill your upload speed if you're trying to uh, play games online because then you're going to be stuttering or your uh, stream is going to be stuttering. So my ISP gives me about 10, which is not too much, but it's enough for me to leave it at 6,000. Leaves me about 4,000 uh, kbps left for me to uh, play my games. Uh, over here on the recording tab, second tab that I'll be going over to. So this is just the recording into your PC. So to do with streaming uh, over here on the top i have recording path as just uh, where i record uh, my files they go into this folder i do have my recording format set to mp4 uh, and then over here at ray control i do have it set for vbr this time which is variable bit rate that's 40,000, which is much higher than that 6,000 we're talking about but you get a much higher overall quality of your recording now, the max bit rate being a 60,000, i think there's a lot of activity going on your stream depending on the game that you're playing shoot up to 60,000 to make sure you get the highest quality that you could possibly get. Uh, the remaining settings I got right up here is a keyframe interval. I have it at two. Uh, preset and max quality, profile high, the same as streaming. Uh, the look ahead, I do have it checked for this one. Uh, and I have cycle visual tuning checked as well. And my GPU is at zero and my max B frames at two. Now my uh, processor, it is a, an Intel uh, i7-9700K. And I do have an RTX 2070 video card. Uh, but honestly, it, I don't think even if you were to have something a little bit less than that with these settings, I believe you should be fine. Unless your video card is a really old NVIDIA card, maybe something even on the 9 series, like a 970. You might have to change it maybe a little bit in your preset, might have to drop this down to quality or performance. 
Uh, otherwise, you could get some stuttering uh, in your game, but you can you can play around with it. The preset right here is what you kind of want to play with. The other settings, you can kind of leave it as it is uh, for both, uh, whether you're on st streaming or recording. So if you don't have anything like a 2070, um, play around with this. Leave everything else as it is. You should be fine. Uh, so let's move on to audio right over here. I didn't really change anything on this tab, so I'm not going to go over anything here. It's basically the default settings OBS gave me. Uh, we go to video. So under this uh, is basically what you're going to be uh, streaming at, like what resolution you're going to be throwing out. And I do have it set for 1920 by 1080 for both. And I have my column FPS value at 60. And what that does is that it's basically streaming at 1080p at 60 frames per second uh hot keys and advanced i didn't really go on these honestly i left it as it is uh just default settings not a big deal uh so let me get out of this page right over here one thing to notice right over here on the main screen of obs is that i have the uh the preview disabled uh, if i enable you see the whole tunnel vision thing which i'm using obs to record this video and you want to make sure this is disabled uh, i've noticed that in, with certain games though not all of them uh, if you have that enabled so that you can see what your stream is looking like, your recording looks like, uh, I've noticed that it actually affects not the stream or the recording of what's going on at the moment, but your game. And I've noticed, especially like for a Project Cars 2 as an example, I get some weird stuttering while I'm driving. It can be kind of annoying. What I do is that I basically, I disable this. I right click and just go disable preview. Something that it's uh, uh, works out for me pretty well. Uh, another setting that I do change on every single one of these uh, scenes that you have, if you have multiple scenes like your welcome scene, talk, in-game, be right back, game, camera, desktop, uh, you want to make sure that uh, each one of these individual items, uh, if you have, you know, like for example, here is a talk, you have your individual sources over here on the bottom, and uh, what you want to make sure is that you, you want to make sure that whatever it is that you have, if let's say if you right click one of your sources and you go to properties, and it talks about uh, this one option is deactivate when not showing. Uh, if you look at different ones, it might be worded differently, like unload when it's not being shown or anything like that. Uh, make sure you check that because what happens is uh, when you switch between scenes, let's say if I go between the desktop to the game to the in-game and welcome, it's going to unload the other ones from the memory so it's not uh, taking CPU resources. What I mean by that is if you take a look, for example, over here, uh, this is your OBS Studio right now and your task manager is only using about nine or 10, which is not too much. Project Cars is about 27%, which is what I have right here running on the background at the moment. And you never wanna get your CPU usage to about 100% because that's when you're gonna have problems or even anything close to 100%. Um, by unloading the other scenes or sources from the other scenes, uh, you're able to actually keep this usage pretty low, which is what's going to give you that, you know, a perfect stream slash recording and smooth gameplay. And I'll show it to you guys right now in the game so you guys can take a look. But I'm going to switch over to my gain scene when I have this over here on the side. Uh, I'm going to disable it for a second here so I can just get into the game. Here we go. So uh, I have, you know, Project Cars 2 just, uh, just about to just run a, a lap or two or something like that. So you guys can take a quick look how it looks like. So um, go ahead and turn the window capture on so you guys can see this. Uh, keep an eye out on your CPU usage and on the OBS Studio um, usage as well and see where that number goes into. So let's go ahead and give it a try. So let's go to start and let's go so all right so so over here you can see you have project cars at 33 percent you have obs at about 16 uh which is perfectly fine so okay, let's go over here and right now the usage is still kicking at about 30 percent for the game which is fine which is what the game is supposed to be and we have the OBS Studio at 18%, so it's good, it's nowhere near the 100%. This is a good setup that works for me, and I have the multiple cameras, I have the one on the back. Um, over here you can see my feet, over here I have a camera, I have a couple of different overlays, like with a map. If you have any questions about it, if you want to share a few of your settings, you know, shoot them down in the comments, let me know what you guys think. You want to make sure that the streaming and the recording uh, it's not affecting your gameplay, especially when you're doing uh, games like it require, like I just do basically sim racing, streaming, and recording. So, Project Cars 2, Assetto Corsa Competizione, iPhone 2019, Race Room, iRacing. It shouldn't affect your performance in game uh, if you're trying to stream or record at the same time. But, uh, 
other than that that's pretty much all i got for you guys uh something like a quick video i just want to show you guys what i have and what works because i had some people had asked me like i mentioned uh but you know if you like the video um you know hit the thumbs up button for me to subscribe so i get notified next time i post a new video a little subscribe little bubble should be coming up a little bell button that's pretty much all i got guys have a good one appreciate it take care